So just continue to do the perimeter. We always want to go all the way around the slab. And then, um, and then we'll fill in the middle. So once he gets the concrete coming down here, right, then we'll start off all the way around the house and the perimeter of the area. Then we can fill in the middle, right? Oh, really? Always be careful. Watch your splashing there. Here. Yeah, so be careful. See this? See this ledge right here? So just, yeah, you got it. Always keep that nice and clean. Yeah. Exactly. When you're using the rake, right? And especially with the exposed aggregate, I always tap that edge after I vibrate it. You see that? Yeah. Like that, it kind of solidifies it a little bit. That tapping, um, come over on this side and then get yourself kind of in this direction, eh? That way you can push it into the hole. Yeah, there you go. Get that edge closed up real good along the wall. There you go. So you just want to take it like an airplane taking off. And then you come back like an airplane landing, nice and smooth. Yeah, oh, watch that. But just keep that, that rhythm, right? Yeah. Much better, exactly. So things that we want to watch out for when we're doing exposed aggregate are like sharp lines like that. That's going to show up the next day after we power wash. We just want to make sure we're wiping those out. Nice smooth dip, yep. So that there, that's a bit too deep. So try to Try to kind of smooth that out a little bit. That may show. And then just hitting the edges, always pulling the float. But the consistency is where we want it. We want to get it smooth, you know, like those rough spots. We want to clean up those rough spots back there and then smooth it out so it looks like this. When you're using Darby's or Fresno's, the main purpose is to reach across the slab. So you don't want to start stop in the middle of the slab. You'll end up leaving an indentation. So you reach across the slab and you pull it straight back. The reason is if we stop in the middle, it's going to leave a line. So we're reaching across with this tool so that we can leave that center area nice and smooth like that. So the key to achieving an exposed aggregate surface is it, that the surface is flat and smooth and all the edges are filled in. So the edges are nice and smooth. There's no holes in the surface. Okay, so this is what you should not do if you're doing exposed aggregate or any type of concrete is leave the aggregate showing like this. This is unacceptable, and especially for exposed aggregate. No lines, no edger lines. You want to have those are, so they're wiped out like that. And the other thing too is trowel marks. So these trowel marks, they'll show through on the exposed aggregate surface. So things that you don't want to do, trowel too deep. Always leave it smooth like that. Never leave an edger line like this. Wipe out the edges like that. And then always close up the uh, the corners and edges
So you never want to leave the aggregate showing like this. When you're spraying with exposed aggregate, you want to make sure you have a nice line like that and you're high enough up. So you don't want to be too close to the surface. Yep, very good. You don't want to have the wand right down at the surface because the concrete is still soft and it'll leave a hole in there. Okay. Also be careful not to drip it. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep. Nice consistency. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, leave me a comment, and also check out our newsletter.